to crash the game as fast as possible? Crash the game as fast as possible. Oh, right, of course. That makes total sense. Speedrun the Minecraft crash. Let me just grab my speedrun timer and grab my ultimate crashing device here and bam! three seconds. But I don't know, man. I kind of feel like it wasn't the best suggestion because today I'm breaking Minecraft with your dumb ideas, and I feel like there might just be a few more out there to crash me without the ultimate crashing device speedrun. Kind of like this comment. Use like 10 repeating command blocks that summon TNT minecarts and set the tick speed as high as possible. Guaranteed freeze. Oh yeah, that's an excellent idea. Let me just go here real quick and, uh, oh. Ah, yes. Hello, Agent. Welcome. You're a difficult person to get a hold of. I have some important information for you. Wait, me? No, you idiot. Them. The Agent. Oh. I was kind of excited to be the- We wiped your memory after your previous mission, so allow me to introduce myself. I am Agent 500, administrator and key contact for undercover field operatives of an organization that, as far as you know, doesn't exist. So we'll skip the details. Over the past two weeks, we've been receiving some rather concerning information that a certain creature of mass destruction could destroy most of the known United States. Thankfully, the unknown states are safe. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to capture this creature and keep it locked in your home until the world is deemed safe again. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. Are you sure it's a good idea to keep a creature of mass uh, destruction uh, 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 in you? Hey, hmm. hey, listen. The details aren't important. We don't have time for questions. Mm -hmm. I need you to do exactly as I say before it's too late. As you can see, these creatures are nearing their full power. Oh, yes. Did I mention that there's multiple of them? Oh, but you don't need to worry about that. We'll let the other operatives deal with that. What I need you to do right now is go to the link in the description down below and purchase one of these so-called plushies. Here, I've created a sample. Don't worry, though. Even though it is freakishly lifelike and terrifying, it cannot hurt you. These creatures seem to be boxing themselves up and shipping them across the known world to unsuspecting residents. Thankfully, they haven't learned of the unknown world yet, but it's only a matter of time. If you can get one yourself, it'll mitigate the damage done to an innocent civilian city and could ultimately save reality as you know it. But how in the world would they be able to handle a creature of mass destruction in their own home? <sighs> Is this guy full of useless questions all the time? They'll just use their extensive agent training, of course. It'll be simple. Oh. So I guess you know what you're doing? As I mentioned before, we don't have much time. Head to the link down in the description before it's too late. You have one week. Do your country proud, Agent. Oh, and uh, I'm I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to wipe your little friend's memory here. Uh, he's not supposed to know about any of this, so... Uh, sorry, pal. Wait, why, why am I not supposed to... Whoa! Whoa. Where am I? What just... What happened? Uh... Oh, oh, right, 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 the, the first comment, that's right, I gotcha, uh, let's just go through here. Use, like, ten repeating command blocks that summon TNT minecarts- wait, did I already read this? I can't remember. Um, whatever. Ten repeating command blocks that summon the TNT minecarts and set the tick speed as high as possible. Guaranteed freeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Ten. 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 <laughs> tick rate. Uh, 500. Oh boy, yeah, this is- this is cool. What happens when I walk into it? Oh, 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 where- Oh, no! I didn't even hear an explosion! What just happened? Whoa, what is that guy doing? Whoa. I gotta respawn, what's going on? Oh, I'm- Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Why is that one all the way up there? Okay, so the entirety of this edge is just gone. Maybe I shouldn't have put the command block so close to the TNT. All right, here we go. They're just gonna spawn a ton of them. Doo -doo -doo, just walking along in survival. No big deal or anything happening here. Oh, oh. It's just a rumbling sound, and then it everything just explodes. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> what is even happening right now? <laughs> There's a lot of TNT minecarts in there. The cool part about this one is that it'll never end. <laughs> How did you get all the way up here, good sir? You're supposed to be down there. All right, well, everything is uh, nice and frozen. Jeez, that sound. Still getting a nice 40-something frames per second here. The only problem now, of course, is that nothing else... Uh, no nothing else works. Like, I can break stuff, but like... Hey! <laughs> yeah, I can't open this chest. I can't really do anything here. Um... Oh. Oh, no. Just, uh, just... Yeah, this is... I feel like the flash right now. <laughs> can't even ring the bell. That's kind of sad. Wait, if I build up gravel, and then I... <laughs> oh, hey, look! The chest opened! Oh, the bell rang. If I just do this... Yeah, oh, there it is. Yep, finally. Alright, cool. Oh! oh. <laughs> 
Oh, no! Some sort of nexus event is happening over there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Does this mean I can just go about my day again? Does this mean I can just keep going? Oh, yeah, look at he's He's fine. Yeah, everything's, everything's fine. Everything is great. <laughs> so yeah, this was a good one, but uh, didn't crash my game. And in fact, I can still play as normal. So uh, GG, point to me. Oh yeah, and if you don't know how this works, points to me if my computer wins and points to you if you crash my game. If you guys have more points than me by the end of this video, then I'll uh, I'll don the Narfi maid outfit again. I have that. That, that. that exists, by the way. This is off to a great start. You can make a world without structures and do the slash locate structure command for any structure. It just freezes the whole game entirely. All uh, right, turn off generate structures and let's see what it does i'm gonna locate a mansion let's see if we can find a mansion shall we oh mansion where could you be i don't know where you are probably because it doesn't exist We're just waiting see if it'll find find the mansion for me where is it is everything just yep everything's just frozen all right Doop -ba -doo. just gonna run over here waiting for the mansion to be found there is no mansion in this world so this world running is still kind of a miracle i can still break blocks but uh i feel like that's uh <laughs> i feel like it's not a good sign of yeah yeah what else should i even do can i like can i build a little house here Let's see if i can manage to finish this uh this little ice house before the uh, before the game either crashes or tells me that there's no structure so would this be considered an igloo or a house or like what what is this you know what what is this oh <laughs> uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize that would happen. Well, we'll just leave that there like that. Make some nice windows. This is a nice little establishment. Other than that, I guess. <laughs> what about a shulker box? Can I open a shulker box? Nope, it's just not. It doesn't work. Are you able to light candles? Oh, you are. Interesting. All right. Well. Uh, in the entire time that I've built this house, that world still hasn't loaded at all. And it's making me think a little bit about what, uh, what it means to actually break the game. Because, like, notice how, like, I threw my stuff and, like, it didn't, I didn't see anything. Look, if I just, you know, there's nothing, I can't, hmm. You've managed to break Minecraft, what? What? We're back. All of my stuff is here. Did my did my house appear? I don't know where my house went. Not gonna lie, I don't even know what part of this world it was in, so I'm um, uh I don't know. What just happened? Huh. Well, that was weird. I will say though, I was on the edge of giving you guys the point, so I will carry through with that because the game did break, and this is called breaking Minecraft. And it didn't it didn't necessarily crash, but it but it broke? I'm gonna give you the point because I don't actually know what to do with this. <laughs> That could be a whole video in and of itself. Breaking Minecraft without crashing the game. Coming to a hit Narfi channel near you. All right, let's move on to the next one. You can take the point. That one was uh, weird. And now I kind of miss my house. <laughs> At this point, Narfi's just using the comments that give him a free point. You're right. I absolutely do that. But it is their dumb idea in the first place to give me that point. And it's also really annoying because I still end up losing. But hey, thank you for the free point. Specifically you. You, because you just gave me a free point by commenting this. Thanks for that. Thanks for the free point. Appreciate it. Thank you. Get crazy realistic shaders and texture packs and do the next idea. Whoever wins it gets two points. That is a really cool concept. A modifier. All right, I'll take you up on that offer. We'll start with rethinking voxels. This is a very, very intense shader pack. This thing has some incredible lighting. Check it out. Check out those shadows. It's one of the coolest shader packs I've ever seen, and uh, I'm kind of excited. This should be fun. Yeah, check that out. The shadows are so cool. I place this in here, that it only lights that up. That's so neat. I love cool shaders. It's so cool. But that's only half of it. We also need the resource pack. And it needs to be daytime. It looks way nicer right now. Dude, this is a 128x version of the resource pack, and it looks so crazy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at the detail. This is, uh... <laughs> I don't know if I've used the 128 version of Patrick's resource pack, but this is this is really, really nice. Look at how beautiful everything is. It's so high resolution. This is a netherite sword, and this is a diamond sword. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I guess we try to crash the game with something else now. Let's see what happens. Use a command block, spawn thousands of blazes on the same block, trapped so they can't move but can see you. Give yourself fire resistance and go into survival so that they all shoot fireballs at the same time. All right, I guess I gotta find a good place to do this now. <laughs> how about on this platform of 
of absolutely gorgeous obsidian. Here we go. All right, that's one blaze, but we need to spawn a bunch. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. No, no. There we go. That's much better. So much better. We're already losing frames. <laughs> okay, all right. Okie doke. Yep, that's great. That's fantastic. So now if I set myself to survival mode. Hey, guys, how's it going? Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I didn't really even get to see what happened. <laughs> hey, oh, hey guys. Hey, oh, don't worry about me. I'm I'm fine. Oh, jeez. That's so horrible. It's just, it's just instant. It's just immediate. Oh, I just bought a few more uh, before they, before they fire. I need to right click again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is, oh, oh, so much fire. They did tell me to give myself fire resistance. So I'm gonna do that. All right, all right. Fire resistance applied. Let's see what happens if I go back into survival mode. Those fireballs are also really detailed. Did you see that? Oh, look at those. Yeah, they're super detailed. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. So we're gonna spawn a few more. Uh, <laughs> the game is freaking out. It doesn't know what to do now. Oh man. Yeah. This is uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I feel like this shader and resource pack is definitely contributing. All right. You know what? This is definitely unplayable. And the simple fact that so many entities spawn when they shoot fire balls that it lags my game even further like that. I think that's worth the point, which makes it two points. So that's kind of unfortunate for me, but really fortunate for you. So well done, good modifier, and uh, let's move on to the next one. Oh, I was just setting up for the next one and I just realized, <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the destruction. And fire tick is off in this world. So each one of those fire things is a fireball. Wow. <laughs> all right, all right, let's move on, let's move on. Go to beta 1.7, press a sticky piston into the same powered redstone line that just powered it. All right, well, here we are in beta 1.7. Uh, I don't have access to commands or creative mode, so I guess we gotta, we gotta get our stuff ourselves. What is this, playing regular? Minecraft? Who does that? All right, I need redstone, iron, uh, cobblestone, uh, uh, planks. I also don't have a sprint, and I don't, uh, don't have any food, uh, but I don't know if I need it, and, um, I don't, I don't know anything about this version. I want to see if there's a cave anywhere. Do caves exist? Caves do exist! Let's go, dude. Let's go. There's so much iron here. This is great. All the iron. Yes. You know, I was just going to say this is really peaceful, but then that cow mood, and uh, I'm not so confident about that anymore. No, I'm kidding. This is still really peaceful. Like, this is a very good way to play the game. Come here, you. Come here. See, very peaceful. Very peaceful. Come here, cow. I'm going to get you. Here we go. I am going to play on peaceful, just so I don't have to worry about any mobs, but I do have a sword just in case it doesn't actually work. <laughs> oh, K sounds. <laughs> Cave sounds are a thing. What in the world? What what is going on over there? I can't I can't zoom in. What what is that? That's so weird. They're just numbers, I guess. I think they're slimes from the way that they're bouncing. Um, but I'm gonna find out. Are these just entity numbers? <laughs> they're totally slimes. Hey guys, how's it going? Redstone, let's go, dude. All right, I have all the things I need. If I did all of this for nothing, then the 72.6% of you people that are not subscribed better subscribe. All right, okay. You better subscribe. Honestly, you should probably just subscribe anyways, though, because uh, yeah, would, that would be cool. I appreciate that. All right, moment of truth. Forget how I make it. Is it like this? Oh, I got it. How did I do that first try? That was kind of amazing. So we'll do a piston here. We do this, and then we place this here. Oh. Interesting. I did not know that was a thing. All right, well done. I, all that work wasn't for nothing, but you guys should still subscribe. <laughs> I give you a free point for being nice. Aw, thank you, the real turtle master. That's so sweet of you. I never get free points. Never. I've I've never gotten free points before. I've, no, nope, never gotten them. Use a repeating command block to spawn loads of sand up at build limit. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, here we go. Where is it? There it is. There's the sand. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. It's just gonna keep going. It's just gonna keep. Oh. I guess it's done. Is that it then? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Well, um. I guess it's just it's just destroying the blocks now. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely thought this would do something more than just that, but uh, hey, it was kind of cool though. What if I put something down here to break the blocks though, you know? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a lot of sand. That's a lot of sand. <laughs> nice. 
Minecraft logic. Okay, one more thought. <laughs> Soul sand. This bubble column might actually keep them in like a stasis of some sort, so we can uh, keep as many of them here as possible. Here they come. Let's see. They just oh. Oh. oh, it's just in the rock spot. Here we go. This could be interesting. Oh, jeez, that's so much sand. There are a lot of, <laughs> look at all the water particles. Oh, it's getting to be too much. They're entity cramming. Oh no. <laughs> if I turn this off now though, this is, this should be, this should be wild. Oh, oh, it's just, oh. Whoa. Wait, what happens if I just, did I break it? I think I broke something. Whoa, 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 look. Ah, fake block, whoa. That was cool. Okay, let's take this one more time. It's all the way back of a build head again. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's so tall. What the heck? And then in theory, if I just flip this lever, boop. Oh, there they go. Yep. That's, yep. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of sand. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Yeah, this is cool. This definitely didn't break the game, but it is very, very cool. I was kind of expecting it to like, you know, fling things everywhere and that kind of a thing, but it didn't. So instead I will. Let's see what happens if I do this. <laughs> Whoa, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it didn't crash my game, but fun idea. So well done, but I get the point. You should create a world made out of soul sand bubble columns and stand on top of it. Also make it layered, then set your render distance to the maximum. Here we are in a world full of sand. At least that's what you would think if it weren't for the bubble columns below. I need to make sure that these actually like you register that they're bubble columns, right? Yeah, so these are these are all supposed to be bu bubble, col bubble columns, uh, I, but they're not. That's a problem. Hold please. All right, so I got the bubble columns to work, but we got a problem. Uh, they go down, and I couldn't fix it to make them go up, so we're just gonna see what happens. This could be an interesting thing, but we're gonna- we're just gonna find out what's gonna happen. Um, they're all gonna go down, and then they're all- oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. They all break. Oh, boy. That's gonna be a lot of entities. Oh, no, dude. This is gonna be rough. We're just doing the sand thing from a previous episode. Oh. But this time, all the entities stay. Oh, no, dude. This is gonna be real bad. We currently have all three staples of Minecraft lag. We have falling blocks, we have particles, and we have items. I also just realized we don't have clouds. Let me fix that. Cloud, yay. Anyways, this is going well. Uh... All right, as this has been processing, I went ahead and did some research and it looks like you can't get the other bubble columns. That's so unfortunate. I feel like this would 100% be cooler if the bubble columns work. I'm gonna try one more thing. Oh, well, my <laughs> my game crashed. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Does this count? I feel like this counts. I'm gonna count this, but I do still wanna do one more thing. This took way longer than I care to admit to set up, but this is gonna be so cool. This is a ton of sand over top of a giant tank of bubble columns, and I just wanna see what happens. <laughs> oh no. Whoa, big bouncy thing, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, what is happening over there? Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was not at all what I expected to happen. They all turned into items, that's so weird. All right, well, it kind of worked. It was kind of neat. This wasn't quite what I was envisioning, but I think it's cool. But since the first version did crash my game, then you guys get a point. GG, let's move on. Crash idea, do nothing. This is a free point for you. What? That's crazy. That's a crazy crash idea. Free points? I never see those. Never in a million years. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you want to crash your PC, use a repeating command block and have it drop lingering potions on you. I'm keeping this fire here because I think it looks cool. So this one, I'm not sure entirely if it will work, but uh, we're going to test it anyways. I believe Minecraft has a particle limit, but let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. There's a particle limit. That's unfortunate. What happens if I turn on the shaders though? Not much. All right. That's unfortunate. <laughs> what if I stand in it? I glow. I have a nice hat. That's, that's what happens. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, since Minecraft has has a particle limit, uh, there's not much else we can do to make this actually work. It looks really cool, but that's about it. There's not there's not much else we can do with this. So even with as many particles as there are and as much fire as there is over there, uh, there's not much we can do. So unfortunately, this point goes to me, uh, but thanks, appreciate it. I, I, I like having points, points are great. Raise his hand to make Narfi's brother to own the channel. So like, do I get a point for this one or? Well, since it's my channel, what if I got the point? 
Oh, no. Step one, go to snapshot 19w38a. Step two, break a block while in survival mode. All right, loading up a survival world, and we're just gonna see what happens. Here we are, in the world of whatever this update was. And I'm just gonna try to break this block. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it totally just crashes. All right, well. That was a fast one. Uh, GG, you get the point on that one. That is hilarious. You should slash fill a big area with sniffer eggs and then set the tick speed to max and watch the madness flow. Out of curiosity, am I able to set all of this to sniffer eggs? Ah, interesting. Whoa, <laughs> that was a weird sound. Whoa. I'm ready. I'm ready for them all to hatch. I'm ready for it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's happening! The lag! The lag! This wasn't even all that much! Like, what? This is insane! <laughs> this is crazy, dude. It sure is lagging. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh, there's so many snippers. I'm just gonna wade through the sea of green. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, if I look this direction, it's uh, absolutely horrible, but then I look over here and it's like, oh yeah, I can actually play the game. Wow, no way, that's so cool. You can hear them still hatching, that's insane. Oh man. Yeah, that's a lot of sniffers. Wow. All right. Well, I just know that uh, this is um, this is like kind of the last few points. What's another point? Ah, uh, well, yeah. And, uh, yep. Mm -hmm, that's another point for you. <laughs> it's unplayable. All right. I can't. I, this is this is just pain. I would wait for the rest of them to hatch, but uh, no. <laughs> so GG, you got the point. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, because you won, this is Narfi in the maid outfit. <laughs>